let's talk about the current demand pressure in the FX markets. We saw the Naira at a 22-week uh, low against the U.S. dollar. Now, the CBN came out saying yesterday that this is just a temporary phenomenon and it's capable of meeting all genuine demands in the foreign exchange markets. Now, what are your thoughts on this, uh, despite the fact we saw them offer uh, last week, Monday and, two, and Wednesday, they offered $300 million. Uh, t uh, Monday this week, they offered $300 million. Today, we're seeing them offering $400 million at the WDAS, which doesn't seem to be having much effect. Uh, do you think it makes sense uh, when they say it's a temporary phenomenon? Well, um, I, I would say uh, perhaps the CBN has uh, a bit more information than um, what I currently have access to. But overall, um, yeah, to, 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 to a certain degree, it might be really a temporary transient um, um, circumstance in, in the like of what we're seeing over, over, overall, it's all Europe filtering into the general investor sentiment, and that's pushing all the prices across board of the various asset classes down. In terms of CBN response to the market, I think they're showing that, like you rightly said, 400 million for the first time in eight months at a single auction. It's a good, it's a grand step from the CBN side to actually show that they can respond appropriately. But you, it's a bit testy at this time because. Um, you can't um, divulge the fact that um, a bit of uh, um, po policies or circular came in restricting the type of or the, the certain types of uh, um, activities at the CBM window in terms of demand that can flow through that window. And uh, the, those demands were basically put in the interbank market. We see we didn't really notice su such a spike because um, in, on the alternative to CBN, you had a, a lot of flows, a lot of oil majors coming into the market, and as such, meeting whatever demand that had come in that could that really didn't need to go through the CBN window. But at, at the, now it seems as though we're seeing just um, the CBN as the major supplier in the market. That of course is obviously going to put pressure on the currency and the market outside of the CBN window. Um, so on the on the face of it, yes, CBN would definitely meet all uh, demand that come that are eligible for the CBN window. They would meet that. But outside of the fact that we're not getting CBN, any other supplier, major supplier in the FX market outside of the central bank for now, it's uh, it uh, remains to say for how long that would last. We really need to see um, some form of flows coming to the market. I, I mean, I'd be temporarily for now. Um, also considering the fact that um, the typical oil importer cycle is falling due um, in during this period, that of course is adding to pressure for it. And like I mentioned, no uh, um, low rather external um, dollar flows coming into the market in terms of portfolio investors for now that also is um, affecting the demand side. I think overall, when we get a, a good equilibrium in terms of um, demand and supply in the FX market, we might begin to seize the, the, uh, the pressure on the Naira actually ease up. But for now, um, it remains to see what the definition of temporary will be for now. Mm. But let's take a look at what's happening in our debt markets because uh, definitely what's happening there is affecting the Naira, especially the T-bill market. Now, we are seeing high yields when it comes to the T-bill markets. Uh, investors seem to want to take advantage of uh, these high, high yields. Now, between May uh, this and this month, uh, June, we saw average yields increase by 200 basis points. Now, what is your take uh, on, on this uh, increase that we're seeing for investors who are interested in yields? And of course, we, analysts do say that we might begin to see a return of offshore investors into our domestic markets because of this sort of increase in yields on shorter term securities. Um, Uche, yeah, right. Um, the yield puts some form of attractiveness. Um, I mean, if you look at the asset class across board, if, even from the short end to the long end, and in terms of um, inflation, inflation data, we tend to see that, yes, investors will really have real returns in terms of asset investment or, or diversification. But, uh, I mean, I would like to point out a couple of factors that uh, are quite at at um, the stark realities with what the current situation is now mm. and what it was um, at the earlier part of the year where we saw um, the, the flow, uh, flow of um, FDI's fund into the country. As at the start of the year, it seemed as though Europe was soft. That's not the case right now. At the mm. start of the year, we had oil trading uh, well above 100 
dollars per barrel that's not the start of that's not the case right now and uh, also at the start of the year we had those re yields close to um, close to 15 16 percent well like you say it's almost getting there but really that's not it overall I think the most important factor that investors are considering now is the euro problem euro doesn't look fixed right now mm -hmm. and it will obviously filter into the sentiment um, well as a, as a, I mean unfortunately we're gonna have to stop it there because we've run out of time but thank you so much uh, for giving us uh, that look into the fixed uh, income market and of course our FX